Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to derive the formulas that uh, will guide how we multiply and divide uh, complex numbers in polar form. Um, since polar form involves trigonometric formulas, um, we're going to find uh, these uh, first, these four formulas useful in our derivations here. <clears throat> So, um, we're going to assume that we have got two complex numbers, uh, Z1 given by R1, cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1. So, this is R1, CIS theta 1. Then, um, imagine that Z2 is uh, r2 cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2 i.e r2 cis theta 2 now um, if we multiply these so z1 times z2 um, so we're going to have r1 cosine theta 1 plus i sine theta 1 plus r2 cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2 if we bring together the r1 and r2 then we've got cosine theta 1 i sine theta 1 times cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2. Now, we are just going to multiply out term by term. Okay. So, the cosine terms are going to give us cosine theta 1, cosine theta 2. Um, so, that's... Uh, um, this term times this term then this term times this term is going to give us plus i cosine theta 1 sine theta 2 then after that the second term times the first term is going to give us i so this is going to be i sine theta 1 cosine theta 2. Then second term times second term is going to give us i squared because both terms involve i, i squared sine theta 1 sine theta 2. Uh, then uh, remember that uh, i squared is uh, negative 1 so this is simply negative 1 there so what we're going to do is we're going to bring together this term and this term because both terms now do not involve i so r1 r2 then we're going to have cosine theta 1, cosine theta 2 minus sine theta 1, sine theta 2, which is this term here. And then these two terms both involve i. So we're going to write those ones as uh, sine theta 1 cosine theta 2 which is this one then plus sine theta 2 cosine theta 1 which is uh, this term here close brackets then what's going to happen at this point is that um, this formula here cos cos minus sine sine is exactly this formula here 
but our alpha um, in uh, uh, this setup is theta 1 our beta is theta 2 so that means that is simply the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 and then this formula is sine cos plus sine cos theta 1 theta 2 theta 2 theta 1 so that one is exactly the same as um the first one there is this beta here so sine cos sine cos um so our alpha is theta one and our beta is theta two so we can write this as i sine theta one plus theta two so that is our z1 times z2 so um in conclusion um so what we are saying is that uh, z1 times z2 um so z1 times z2 is r c i s theta 1 times r 2 c i s theta 2 this is simply r1 times r2 c i s theta 1 plus theta 2 so what this thing is saying is that when we multiply two complex numbers we multiply the moduli and we add the arguments okay so to multiply z1 and z2 we multiply the moduli uh, the moduli and we add the arguments add the arguments so the arguments are the theta 1 and theta 2 so you're going to notice that uh, it means the, the argument here behaves a bit like an exponent because it's exponents that add when we multiply so that is the, the uh, formula for multiplication. Um, so let's uh, see, um, derive a similar formula for addition, sort of for division. Uh, so here we go. So for division, um, so we've got Z1 over Z2. So Z1 is R cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1 divided by R2 cosine theta 2 plus I sine theta 2. Then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use uh, the procedure that we, we did, uh, we followed for dividing complex numbers in a rectangular form so that means we divide we multiply both numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator so but what's going to happen here is we're just going to multiply by the complex conjugate of this bit because uh, uh, r1 and r2 are real numbers so uh, this is what we're going to do we're going to multiply both of these by cosine theta 2 minus i sine theta 2 that's going to be the complex number complex conjugate of this so then the denominator will multiply by the same thing cosine theta 2 
minus i sine theta 2, right? Uh, then, yeah, I'm going to need uh, more space here. So then in the denominator, um, this is a difference of two squares. So in the denominator, we're simply going to have the first term squared minus the second term squared. Okay. Uh, in the, that's the denominator, in the numerator, we just have to multiply all four terms. So first term times first term is going to give us cosine theta 1, cosine theta 2. Then I'm going to jump to the last term times last term. So last term times last term is going to give us some um, negative i squared um, sine theta 1 sine theta 2 this is i squared here then um, second term times first term here is going to give us i into sine theta 1 cosine theta 2 then um, uh, first term times second term here is going to give us minus cosine theta 1 sine theta 2. Okay, so in the numerator, we are now going to have uh, cosine theta 1 cosine theta 2 minus sine theta 1 sine theta 2. That's this term here because i squared is negative 1. So this thing here is a negative 1. So that is going to be the first two terms. Then after that, uh, these terms will just remain as they are. So plus i into sine theta 1 cosine theta 2 minus sine theta 2 cosine theta 1 and then everything divided by uh, then r2 this is going to be cosine squared theta 2 this is going to be i squared which is negative 1 so that term is going to become plus sine squared theta 2 but this is equal to 1 so so in that denominator um, so this here is equal to 1 so finally what we're going to have is uh, r1 and, uh, finally what we're going to have is r1 over r2 because uh, this is just 1 then um, this is going to be cosine theta 1 cosine theta 2 minus sine theta 1 yeah yes just uh, just 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 one moment that this is actually going to be plus here because we had a minus and then the i squared so that makes it plus so it's going to be plus sine theta 2 okay then plus i into um, sine theta 1 cosine theta 2 minus sine theta 2 cosine theta 1 now this time comparing this with our useful formula plus so cos cos plus sine sine that is the one for cosine alpha minus beta 
our alpha is theta 1, our beta is theta 2. So R1 over R2, this is cosine theta 1 minus theta 2. And then if we do the same thing, we're going to find that this one is uh, sine theta 1 minus sine theta 2. So uh, what are we saying? We're saying, so, so when we do Z1 over Z2, which is R1 CIS theta 1, over R2 CIS theta 2. This is just going to be R1 over R2 as it is here. But then the arguments we subtract the numerator argument minus the denominator argument. So when we divide, we divide the moduli and subtract the arguments like the numerator argument minus the denominator argument so again that argument is behaving like an exponent okay so that those are the two formulas we're going to use in the next video we're going to look at some numerical examples of how to multiply and divide complex numbers in polar form thank you for visiting our channels uh, channel thank you for watching the video hopefully it's helpful please do not forget to subscribe of course and like the video share accordingly